Space Sims, and we are back with more Men of Yoshawara Okiha, and we should be getting Gakuto's super happy ending in this part, um, because I believe Chapter 10 is the last, well, Chapter 10 is the last one we have choices on, and then Chapter 11 is our end chapter, so, anyway. I visited Gakuto every day while he was locked up. A strange thing was happening in Yoshawara. Even though Gakuto was in jail, his popularity was booming. Everyone praised him as the most passionate man in Yoshawara. Spacey, you don't have to come to see me every day. But I want to. Is it wrong for me to keep seeing you? No, it's not, but you have work to do, don't you? It's like you're like, yeah, but I don't have to pay for this. <laughs> yes, but I finish it up before coming to see you. I see. Sorry, I lied. It's actually the opposite. I always come to see you and then do my job. This way my mother won't suspect anything. I guess that's a good reason then. Kakuto smiled feebly. It sent a squeezing pain through my chest. But just hold on a little longer. Yeah, I know. Everyone in Yoshiwara was talking about Kakuto. Considering that that in his situation, he was going to be free in no time. Spacey, when I get out of here, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? It's a little scary how formal you're being. It's not something bad. Well, probably. Probably? I can't be too sure. Smirking in the dimly lit room, Gakuto brought himself closer to me. He planted a soft kiss upon my lips. And the next time we see each other is when I'll be out of here. You- Oh, you'd better come and pick me up. Yes, I will. Time to leave. I look up at the large gate of Yoshawara. Holding Gakuto as its prisoner, it's a detestable sight. Although, it's the law of Yoshawara. It brought Gakuto's past into light. It somehow, it seemed to show a bright future for Yoshawara. Alright, Gakuto. Next time we meet, it will be under the bright blue sky. Muttering to myself, I pass through the gates. The dream world of the Yoshawara Red Light District. Is it okay for it to remain a dream? I guess that's something no one will ever know, even in time. No matter if it's a dream or reality, it's surely a world of suffering. At last, the day of Gakuto's release, a release approached. He hadn't told a soul, instead quietly taking my hand. We'll be under the bright blue sun, but it's the middle of the night! Thanks to the statements made by the townsmen and courtesans, he wasn't punished. Townswomen, whoops. The truth of the woman's death was made known because of Musashi and my testimony. Although many things stood in his way, things progressed in a favorable direction. I am really sorry for everything that happened. It's really not necessary to apologize anymore. But it's thanks to you I was able to stop and collect myself over and over. If I hadn't met you, I may have done something horrible to that woman. You're a good person. Everyone knows that, except for you. Spacey. Kakuto's face, lit by the moonlight, is bewitchingly pale and alluring. My heart thumps quickly in my chest. Surely there'll be no getting used to his beauty. I'm sure I'll continue to be fascinated indefinitely. It's okay now. Yes. Look, he's blushing. I was so taken over by my desire to get revenge that I couldn't think straight. Um, but, oh, but now I can see that you're back to your usual self. Yes, I think I am. Kakuto embraces me as the cherry blossom leaves create a blizzard around us. It's actually really beautiful. The arms that have wrapped around me so many times have started to become an endearing place. Spacey, I trust you. Kakuto? I trust you, and I'm sure I'll continue to... When I try to do crazy things like run away from Yoshawara, you always stayed by my side as you promised. Yes, of course. I like you. Uh... Perhaps I've liked you for a long time. Even so, I tried to leave. It wasn't right. That's why now I want to face this head on. You made me believe in you. Well, I did make a promise to you. You really are different than other girls. There's no one else like you for me. Hearing him tell me this honestly for the first time 
made me fraught with emotion, and I felt tears well up in my eyes. Why do I feel so happy about this? The person I love just told me he likes me. It's not that big of a deal. But why can someone like something like that make me feel such deep happiness? I like you, Gakuto. Me too, Spacey. Barely breaking our embrace, we gaze into each other's eyes. Staring straight at me, I realized I was the only thing in his pupils. Pupil. It's only one. The man who had lost his sense in order to get revenge was nowhere to be seen. Not sure who I who initiated it, our lips pressed together. As we touched, I felt a strong emotional bond like I never have before. A single tear spilled from my eye. We then headed to Yoshiwara oh Yoshino's grave. I was reading I saw Yoshi and then oh, Yoshino's grave. The place where Gakuto wanted to bring that woman. I'm sure Yoshino was looking at Gakuto from the other world and already knew everything. With a bitter smile, we went to report all the information to him. Gakuto stood in front of the grave with his hands placed together. My body trembled just remembering. The sight of the woman falling into the sea. No matter how horrible of a person she was, it was still a painful, way, a pitiful way to die. Yoshino, I'm so sorry I couldn't free you from your burdens. With these few words... Akuto apologized in an instant. A pure, warm breeze blew between us. We both spontaneously looked toward the breeze. Could that have been... No, never mind. I feel like Yoshino was answering. Oh, he thought so too. Yes, to me it was like he almost blew it off and laughed, saying not to worry about it. Is that so? I feel like he laughed at me calling me an idiot. <laughs> Either way, he's laughing. I guess so. Yes, I'm sure of it. Kakuta reached out his arm to the tombstone and patted it lightly. It was really like he was patting an old friend's shoulder. Then can you rest in peace now? Or has that woman made it to that world and you're giving her a taste of her own medicine? I suddenly realized he was trembling slightly. Kakuta? I'm so sorry, Yoshino. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. I wish we had left that good-for-nothing shop together before any of this. If we did, you'd be alive now. Is Kakuto crying? Peeking up at his profile, I could see the pain from the bottom of his heart, but also a sense of refreshment. There I was, reflected in his eye. Hey, they did it singu singular! <laughs> before I could stop myself, I reached for him. As I touched him, he looked at me. I had the same dream over and over. The day he was betrayed by that woman, watching him screaming as he was arrested. He got beat up as punishment, and I, knowing nothing, went to bring him dinner in secret one day. But he was silent and not moving. Tears began to spill out of my eyes, just like Akuto. I saw that dream on repeat, and towards the end I'd always see him getting carried away, unable to move. And following after him, saw him get punched and kicked and left for dead. Hearing Gakuto say this brought these visions to my eyes. I'm sure I'm not imagining it accurately, but the way he explained it created a heart-wrenching sadness. I... That must have been painful. I'm sure he's resting in peace. It's like both of those are good, like, or saying nothing. All of these are kind of good, like, I'm sure he's at peace now, but also then you're like, I'm sure that was painful. Because, like, he's telling you about something he witnessed. So, saying, I'm sure he's resting in peace is, like, acknowledging that he watched his friend in pain. That must have been painful as acknowledging it was painful for him. And not saying anything is, like, fuck, I don't know what to do. So, fuck, I don't know what to do. It's... Oh, it's not saying anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Well, there you go. Silently, I snuggled close to him. There were no feelings to describe his pain, so this is all I could do. Why was that woman able to live every day like that while well, I was driven to insanity? If you weren't here, I really would have... A smirk appeared on Gakuta's face. A sad yet soft and tender smile. I softly wiped the tears that streamed down his face. When I do... It's been years since I've cried. Kakuto murmured softly. The day when he was caught and cried out for help was the last day. 
when that happened, it spread to me so that I had no idea what to do. I couldn't even cry. It was like I almost became... inhuman. Now seeing that was in the past, he smiled at me. I fin- Oh, I finally became human again. You've always had human blood in you. You were a nice person. And can you really say that? I've done heartless things. I don't have any recollection of that. What a good memory you have. Thinking he was going to hug me, Gakuto brought his lips toward my hair. With a soft sound, he gently placed his lips on my head. I really troubled a lot of people. I don't think there's a single person around you who would think of this as troubling. I think that's all thanks to your personality. No, they're just fine people. They're always worried about you. They're really an honest group. I did something bad. Then open your heart to Utsusemi and Ageha from now on. I'm sure they'll be happy about it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm blessed with so many good friends at a time like this. It's your experience and personality. What is good about a guy like me? His face didn't look like he was asking from the from his his face didn't look like he was asking from his innermost depths. Instead, he was joking. I felt relieved. But I mean, laughing scornfully, Gakuto pulled on my hand and started walking as if something came to mind. Gakuto? I became happy one step before everyone else. So I thought I should say a prayer for them, too. For Utsusemi and Ageha. As he said this with a smile on his face, we arrived at the Inari Shrine. He put his hands together and prayed for the happiness of Utsusemi and Ageha. My wishes... Our happiness. Because, like, Gokuto's happiness... Yeah, I want him to be happy. I want us to be happy together! <laughs> He's already prayed for Uthusemi and Ageha, so I'm going to be selfish and say us. Yes. Us. And yeah, this is our last chapter, okay. I'll leave their happiness up to Gakuto and pray for Gakuto and my own happiness. I hope that somehow or another, we can be together. I looked next to me as I thought this. Our eyes met and Gakuto grinned at me. Without me expecting it, my heart skipped a beat. After putting my hands together, I opened my eyes. Kakuto looked up at the moonlit sky and muttered a few words. Honestly, you are my last customer. What do you mean? My apprenticeship is ending. Apprenticeship? He shouldn't be an apprentice, that's what a geha is. Uh, now that I think about it, when Kakuto disappeared, that was the word around Yoshiwara. The end of his contract. Was I the only one who didn't know? I have one final task to complete, but my loans are almost completely paid off. I haven't had the chance to think clearly like this since becoming free. What are you going to do? Maybe I should have been a policeman's rope. I finally realized that no matter where I go, in this place I'll always be captive. I want to become free and go wherever and do whatever I want, together with you. She's like, he's like, I want to go wherever I want, do whatever I want. She's like, oh, with you. Oh! <laughs> Tee -hee. My heart was suddenly packed with emotion, and I couldn't find the right words. So, I mean, I guess we're not eloping with any, but... It's just disappointing, because I wanted to be that person that was in the first game. <laughs> Things changed so suddenly. Who would have thought that this is what the future had waiting for me? The poor boys living in the district. I may resent you for living in such a beautiful house, but... That wouldn't happen. I know that you don't have a prejudiced view, but your mother isn't so like you, right? I think my mother will approve as long as it's you, Gakuto. She approved of all the other ones, except for, like, a gay ha, that one was a hard sell. When I first told her I chose you, she was so happy. But me starting an uproar is now common knowledge. Uh, oh, uh, that's enough already. I need to stop caring so much about my past. Kakuto. And just like when I snuck away from that horrible place, I'll show a bold side of myself from now on. Yes, that's just like you. Just then, another thought popped into my mind. That sharp determination of his wasn't just driven by his desire for revenge. It also drives his ambition. That had to be his true nature. And from now on is the start of my true life. I'll take you along with me. Okay. 
Yes, of course. Well, oh, well, either way, I won't take no for an answer. From now on, you'll always be my wife. Well, that's a way to propose. Yes. We grasped at each other's hands and intertwined our fingers. Feeling a deep connection, our faces naturally do drew closer and... Kakuto! A courtesan Kakuto! A courtesan Kakuto! <laughs> Fucking a gay, huh? <laughs> Fucking Utsusemi. Everyone is cock-blocking me in this game, except for Asagiri. He's precious and didn't do anything wrong. We could suddenly hear a voice from afar. Oops. With our faces still close together, he looked at me and let out a sigh. Well, didn't they find me at a great time? I think Takagawa has the worst timing. You should get back to Okiha soon anyway. I'm sure everyone is starting to worry. With our hands still interlocked, we turned around. I mean, you were just released from prison that you were in for running away. And they're like, uh, you walk in two minutes late and they're going to be like fucking all over you. And you're going to find your ass back in prison. Uh, I think I read with our hands still interlocked. We turned around. I think I read that. We saw Utsusemi and Ageha's figures suddenly appear with smiles on their faces. Uh, so this is where you were. Oh, we've been searching forever. I'm glad we found you. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. You had said you were going to pick up Miss Spacey, so we weren't too worried. My return was so delayed, everyone's starting to become uneasy. And he thought maybe he had gone somewhere again. Sorry, I'll return right away. I got it. What are you doing at the shrine, anyway? Nothing, really. What? Uh, please tell me! It has nothing to do with you. Does it have nothing to do with me, either? Instead of worrying so much about me, how about you focus on yourself? You can't continue as a rookie forever. But I want to be by your side forever. Aww. He's such a little Bambi! You idiot. You need to become independent. No, he doesn't. He's gonna cry and get booted. Gago, don't be a little nicer. Hey, you can go back to being your harsh shelf tomorrow. He was just really worried about you. Look at his pouty face. He sees the little angry eyes and the pouty mouth. Mm, mad at you. It's like it's his mad face, but you're like, you're so cute when you're mad. It's like when your cat looks at you pissed off and you're like, Look at Joe, you're mad, kitty! And you're just, it's not threatening. It's exactly what he's doing right now. Well, you can't make a mad face. Your eyebrows don't work that way. You don't really have eyebrows. You know, like cats can squint their eyes. You close your eyes and you just look tired. There's no way for you to look angry. You only get mad when you get all puffed up and like, ah, trying to bite me, but... Again, not threatening. Anyway, sorry... Kakuto held out his large hand and stroked Ageha's back with it. Like a blooming flower, the cute young boy's smile emerged. Spacey, you come back to my room as well. Uh, okay. Taking my hand, he pulled me towards him and into an embrace. It's already late. Yeah, we plan to celebrate Kakuto's return. Uh, so how about you join us? What? I didn't hear anything about that. Uh, just send me that was a secret. Ah, uh, shoot. If you have that much free time, why don't you focus on your job? For one thing, the brothel owner won't approve of that. Oh, that's... But Semi's eyes began to dart around as if he were avoiding the subject. Hey, get to the point, Utsusemi. You're just gonna punch me again if I do. I'll say it, but please don't get mad at me. That depends on what it is. Um, Utsusemi, Kakuto will be calm, so please tell him. Courtesan Kakuto, it's about your payment invoice. Well, that wasn't straight. Well, wasn't that straight? Indeed. It sure makes it hard to celebrate. And they said it's for the troubles you caused. Hey, choose your words better! I see. And because of that, you two are in high spirits. Um, Kakuto, please don't get angry at them, okay? He's like, my debt's almost paid off! By the way, here's an invoice for $70,000. Well, fuck. No matter what the method is, everyone is just trying to be kind. I accidentally clicked, but... His anger is obvious, however. 
At any rate, how about we get back to Ogia? Because the clock's ticking and they're going to keep adding to your bill. Huh. If you say so, I guess I have no choice. Wow! Miss Spacey, you really calmed him down. Miss Spacey, you have my respect. No, I... It's fine. Well, let's go, Spacey. Okay. With Kakuto's arms still around my shoulders, we quickly began our walk back. With Utsusemi and Ageha behind us, I looked next to me at Kakuto. His angry face had changed to... a calm, gentle smile. I hoped everyone could be happy. That's what he wished for so strongly. I reflected deeply on this happiness as we headed to Ogiya. Celebrations! Concerning Gakuto's rebellion, for a short period of time it was the hot topic of the town. However, after several days it started to disappear. Just like the sparklers popular with children, it slowly faded away and became almost a secret. That's when... I was indebted to you for quite some time. I saw Gakuto in a deep bow, standing in front of Ogiya. There was a large array of people standing in front of the store and even more lining the main street of Yoshawara. It was a clear, lucky day. Today marked the end of Kakuto's apprenticeship. They keep calling it that, but it's like Ageha's the apprentice. It's his courtesanship. It's weird. And take care of yourself. It's a shame to see one of the breadwinners go. Uh, please come back any time. Although I'm thankful for your offer, I think I'll respectfully decline. We're getting married anyway. Uh, In front of everyone, Gakuto openly put his arm around my shoulder. Totally fucked that up reading it, whatever. I feel my cheeks flush as a sense of happiness fills my chest. You're as passionate as ever, aren't you? When you ran off, I was wondering what your deal was. And Takagawa, maybe you shouldn't mention that. It seems like Akuto feels remorse for that, too. Were you? That's the first time I've heard of that. Of course I did. I fully regretted it and was confined because of it. Isn't that a little different? I mean, it was against your will. Oh? Okay, okay, that's enough already. It's a fine day. We don't need to ruin it. I guess that's true. <laughs> Courtesan Kakuto! <laughs> Ageha, again? You can't cry on a day like this. But, Kordasan Kakuto. Kordasan Kakuto. That would be me. No! Who am I gonna wish I could buy when I had enough money, but I'll never have enough money, and now I have no hopes and dreams? I'm just kidding. Oh, security it is. <laughs> All fools will sob today. I mean... And that's because Gakuto. Okay, huh? I'm not going to listen to you until you stop being a crybaby. You're finally starting to turn into a fine man. And you can't do that now. I'll stop. I'll do my best to stop. Yes, when you make your debut, I'll be sure to order the finest kimono. Courtesan Gakuto. And sir, and this is starting to turn into quite the solemn departure. You'll come back and see us, right? Yes, I'll bring fabrics with Spacey and sell them to you. Eh, I'm kind of happy, but I don't have much money at the moment. Earn as much as you can. You have a promising future. Thank you. I'll keep those words close to my heart. The conversation as we parted seemed like it would never end. Just then, Gakuto ended the conversation and took a step back. I really am indebted to you. Once again, he bowed his head deeply, and I followed, lowering my head as well. I really felt awe for how loved Gakuto was by everyone. Gakuto had said he wanted to leave on foot, so there were no arrangements or protection prepared. With Gakuto, Musashi, and several others alongside us, we left the gates of Yoshawara. From today onward, no matter how many times we pass under this gate, no one can criticize us. You're right. I was already a prisoner here for so many years. I thought of it as obvious, but now I'm free. He smiled refreshingly and looked towards me. Feeling overcome with emotion, I returned the smile. And this is the start of our life together. Yes, yes it is, Kakuto. I s he softly took my hand, and we took our first steps to freedom. Well, if it isn't Spacey, welcome home! 
When I returned to the shop, my mother was waiting and greeted us. She's like, wait a minute. What? Who? Wait, huh? Who's this man? Why did you bring him here? So, mom, uh... By the way... Kakuto looked at my mother and silently lowered his head. Mother, I brought Kakuto with me. Welcome home, Kakuto. Thank you so much for having me. Please, feel at home. You don't need to stand on formality. You brought many kimonos for me when I went to Ogia and... Oh, you bought. Whoops. From now on, you'll become the husband of this house. When I first told my mother about Kakuto's apprenticeship ending and the two of us, she asked me to give her one night to think. She came back the next day looking cheerful. Thinking it over, she came to the conclusion that Kakuto has business sense. She said aside from him being a well-known courtesan, he has had a lot of experience. I mean... Because he's a court. Oh, that's not what she meant? Okay. I'll do my best to get used to the job as quickly as possible. I'm sure you'll do wonderfully. Your eye for detail is precise. Literally, at least she said... Well, I mean, your eye for detail is literally how you'd say it, but it's funnier. Because he only has one. <laughs> Never gonna stop being funny. But for now, we need to get ready for the celebration. My mother seemed entirely pleased to begin the festivities. Watching the sight in front of me... I wondered if it was okay for me to be this happy. This was the beginning of a day to... to this was the beginning of day-to-day -day business at Somei. Several days had passed since Gakuto came to the house. The wedding preparations were coming along, and Gakuto was getting used to his job. Gakuto, my mother was praising you today. She said you have a good work style and an excellent eye. He's like, I do, because it's the only one I have, so it has to be excellent. Really? I still have a long way to go. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at calculating payments. You don't need to strive to be perfect at that. If you were perfect, I'd have no place here. Nothing could start without you here. Sulking, Gakuto reached his arms around me and embraced me from behind. As he placed his lips on my forehead, I looked up at him, and our lips met. Are you trying to manipulate me? No, and just pamper you. No... His lips moved from my lips to my cheek, to my neck, and they continued moving down. Distracted by his warm lips, my thoughts slowly faded away. I mean, fuck yeah. No, Kakuto, stop. Why no? We've finished working, and now all we have left to do is rest. No, I can't even form words. Before I realized it, my clothing was open, and it gently slid off my shoulder. Uh... I tried to conceal my breast, but he blocked me and brought his lips closer. The stimulation warmed my body, and I instinctively arched my back. It's so funny. Oh, I'm going to try to hide myself. How many times? Okay, well, we've only had to read it twice, but he's seen your boobies. It's okay. Your words may say no, but your body is responding. No means no, Gakuto. Jesus. His hand slid over me, and his lips moved toward me again, although she says, Oh, no, oh. Uh but then goes along with it, so it's like... Every time. His warm breath fell over me. Unable to endure it any longer, I fell into him and... We crumbled onto the bed. I'm not moaning. We can't talk if we do this. We can talk as much as we'd like from now on. Our time's no longer bought by money. We have as much time as we make together. Kakuto. Right now, I just want to hold you. That is not what you're trying to do. Can you make that happen, my lovely wife? Yes. His lips met mine in a deep kiss. His body also moved deep into mine. Like I was thirsting for his heat, we sank together in a whirlwind of passion. That evening, we continued our lust and passion. Our desire for, a desire for each other was endless. Then came the day of the wedding. I've never seen a woman suit a white kimono as much as you. Have you seen that many women in white kimonos? No, you're the first. Then maybe you just have nothing to compare it to. For the ceremony, we met in secret, to see each other's figures and burn them into our memories. But let me put it a different way. Okay. Seeing you in that white kimono, I fell in love at first sight. How was that? Good, but... What's wrong? For some reason, you sound like you're just messing around. 
Why, that's a problem. As he said this, he didn't look the least bit concerned. He raised his eyebrows and... Uh, kissed me softly on the lips. And suddenly gazed at me seriously. I don't need words to express it. You know that you're more important to me than anyone, and that will never change. You are the only one for me. Hearing such honest words, I was unsure how to respond. When we first met, I had no idea what kind of a man he was. But now, he's so honest and heartfelt. The words I desired quickly flowed from his lips. Why couldn't he say these things when I desired them before? Now he's been showering me with them. Why do you look as if you're going to cry? Your makeup's going to get messed up. Um, don't cry. Yes, I know. I desperately resisted crying and put on a smile. We should get going soon. And I've asked a Gehan Utsusemi to come today as well. Okay. Kakuto gently stroked my back. This is happiness. This happiness may be the peak. This is all I could feel. You rescued me. And now it's my turn to make you happy. I look forward to it, Gakuto. From somewhere, lovely flower petals, petals fluttered towards us. Petals resembled the fireworks. Taking my hand, Gakuto murmured to himself, We can light fireworks whenever we'd like now. Yes. Why? These words caused me to become fraught with emotion. The tears that I was fighting so hard to hold back began to overflow. The former courtesan was no longer a prisoner in his own body. Looking at me with his sharp eyes, my husband was determined to never let a tragedy like that occur in Yoshiwara again. Although the desire for revenge had weakened, there was still a flicker. Talk to me about anything you want, fireworks or any of your likes. Hearing my tearful voice, Kakuto smiled. His sharp eyes looked at me, not with his normal gaze, but with a tender sparkle. The end. Oh, lovely. Here we go. Looking at all of our. Like he'd be so beautiful in the CG, but you can't see all of his face. Only part of it. Um. It was definitely an interesting story. Would I say it's the best? I feel like because I was so looking forward to him, it was almost a disappointment. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but you're like, I'm so hyped. I'm so ready for this, and then you do it, and you're like, Wait, really? This. Is uh, I'm sure after it sinks in, it'll be, like, better, you know what I mean? But it'll be days in the make. <laughs> now he's so angry and molesty. It's a little wrong. <laughs> do, 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 do. The fireworks were cute, though. I gotta sneeze. Or not. Never mind. Anyway. This one's pretty. You don't get to see his whole, like, face or anything, but it's beautiful. Like, the colors of it, the flower petals. It's just, I don't know why. It's just really pretty. So. Do, 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 do. And our wedding one! Which is adorable, but not as pretty as that other one. So. Anyway. Yep. That is Gakuto's super happy ending. We will get his happy ending. I do like this one. We'll get his happy ending in the next part and then we will do the um, date scenario in the sequel. So this part is actually going to be a little bit shorter than that one. Like usually that. But, well, no. Eh. I'm actually surprised because I thought, oh crap, like we're not going to like we'll end up not being able to fit this. Because I was, like, rambling so much. But his seemed to go a little bit faster, actually. Because I did spend a lot of time analyzing and, like, rambling in, like, the first part or two. And I was like, well, shit, we're only getting two chapters. And we're going to get to, like, chapter 10 and not have time for the thing. And then all of a sudden, the last few chapters kind of went by really fast. We got through, like, almost three chapters in the last part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we just did chapter 10 in this one. Well, we were partway through chapter 7, weren't we? Or we just started it? I don't fucking remember anymore. Well, I don't remember. Anyway. Um, but anyway, we'll do the happy ending and the other two and the thing in the next part. And that will be the end of the Men of Yoshawara. Oh, dear. 
So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.